Yo guys, how's it going? Uh, been a long time, man. Um, back on the channel for a bit. I've been away traveling, so I uh, haven't had time to kind of make some videos. You might have recently seen my S2000 on uh, Ricky's channel over at Living Life Fast. Um, that was fun, but the comments on that video were freaking hilarious, man. I might have to do a separate video, um, separate reaction video to those comments. Like, I was on the floor creasing when I read half of those comments. But that's the internet for you, I guess. But anyways, over at my channel, uh, I've been reading some of the comments on uh, my S2000 video. Uh, thanks for the love, appreciate it. I've seen people asking questions about my double din Apple CarPlay setup, so I thought I'd make a quick video just to kind of highlight uh, what you know the work that went into it, uh, the parts needed if you want to do the same thing to your S2000. So yeah, man, let's get right to it. Um, all right, so here's my double din screen. Uh, this particular bezel, that's actually an OEM part from Honda. So you can order that from um, from Honda directly. I'll put the part number in the description. If I can find a link to it, I'll pop that in there as well. Um, this also comes with a, a cage, but that's designed to fit the screen that's originally supplied uh, by Honda in the kind of JDM S2000s. Uh, so I don't think it'll fit like a, a different setup, um, you know, unique to your application. Um, so basically you've got to cut a hole um, over here, <laughs> uh, so you gotta measure it up and make sure you don't over kind of overdo it. Um, I think there's like some heater vents or matrices at the back there, so you need to once you've cut the hole uh, in the dash, uh, you need to measure the depth you have, and then find a screen that's kind of uh, appropriately sized. Uh, so I had this actually done for me. I was never gonna be brave enough to cut myself. Um, I'm sure there's tutorials on YouTube and the S2KI forums on how to do that if you want to go into proper detail but I'm just kind of giving you uh, a quick over overview of what goes into it so yeah you gotta cut the, cut the hole in the dash measure you measure the depth and pick the right screen they, they picked uh, an Alpine uh, Apple CarPlay screen for me uh, which is quite handy they actually wired um, everything underneath the, the center tunnel um, the cable comes out of here um, hold up, I'll show you this. They put a little grommet there uh, where the cable comes out, so it's a nice little clean job. Uh, you can kind of yank the cable and tuck it back in um, as needed. So my phone kind of sits here, hook up to the CarPlay, and um, I've, got, I've got a Waze on here as well, which is quite sick when you're navigating. But there you go, Waze comes up, and then music. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's quite a clean setup over here where the original single din stereo was. Uh, I've got a set of um, Defi din gauges. If you don't want to see them, you can hide them. And if you want to, if you want to look at them, I think they're cool. Just leave it open. Some people have the gauges up here, but I think it looks a bit cluttered. So I wanted a clean, kind of driver orientated setup over here. Um, so yeah, man, that's basically it, really. Um, there's also a, a mic up here. I don't know if you can see that which uh, is wired again through here, it's a very discreet. Um, that is hooked up is to Siri and I can make my telephone calls as well from there. So it's, a, it's quite a nice, subtle, modern touch to, uh, you know, what's almost a classic car now, the S2000. Um, so yeah, if you've got any other questions about it, um, just shoot me a message and I'll, I'll get back to you. But I think it's definitely worth doing this because um, there's all that space there that you can utilize. Um, so you might as well, right? And uh, have, having Apple CarPlay is so handy. It's, it's actually a sick screen. If you can find a screen that can do both Android and, and Apple CarPlay, uh, if it's got compatibility for both, then uh, then yeah, that's dope. Um, but yeah, I hope that was informative and helpful. Like I said, any other questions about my car, anything else about it, just shoot me a message. You know, I love helping out people. That's what the car community is all about, man. Sharing is caring. All all of that kind of cheesy shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, more videos to come. Now that I'm back in the country and uh, yeah, hopefully collaborate with some people as well, uh, make some more content uh, and shout out to Ricky as well for having me on his channel. That was a, that was a fun little shoot. Uh, definitely be doing something again with him when I've got my new engine in the car, which will probably be sometime later towards the end of this year on or, or next year, which I'm like mad excited about. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's see how that goes, man. But in the meantime, peace, signing out. Uh, catch you guys in a bit.